In this video, I'm going to answer some questions I get regarding how split effects work and what are the odds of getting the split effect you want. Once you get a card to maximum level, you'll be able to split it. This means you gain a brand new copy of that card, but it will have an additional cosmetic effect. The first time you split a card, it will have either the foil background or the prism background, as they're the only options that you can have on split one. Your next split of that character will then have a chance to gain an additional effect that will be either glimmer or cosmic. These two sets of effects are what you will see most commonly on your cards as you are leveling them, but how do I get rare splits I hear you ask? Well, once you are up to your fourth split on a character, you have a chance to get my favourite background, Inked. This makes your card monochrome and really stands out in game. My personal goal is to make a full ink deck in the near future. The problem with this is that ink only has a 10% chance to occur. After your fourth split, the gold background is attainable, which also has a 10% chance to be applied. This means once you have split a character four times, you have a 40% chance for a foil, 40% chance for prism, 10% for gold, and 10% for ink. The effects work in a similar way, but with slightly different percentages. The first two effects, Glimmer and Cosmic, each have a 50% chance from Split 2 onwards. Then you have Sparkle, which like Ink, can occur from Split 4 onwards, but unlike Ink, it has a 33% chance and pushes the others to 33% also. Then once you get to Split 6, the Kirby Crackle effect is unlocked and has a 10% chance to occur on Split, making it the most difficult effect to get overall. Now that you have all the timings and odds sorted, there are a couple of things you still need to know. First, you cannot get the same combination of effect and background on the same card. This, however, does not apply to variants. Even though split level, which is the amount of times you have split a character, carry over through variants, the effects themselves do not. So for example, if you get a foil plus cosmic on basic Chavez, then split a Chavez variant, you could still get foil and cosmic on that one as well. This does make sense since it means you can get all the split effects on new variants you may prefer later on. And finally, you do need to know that the percentages I've discussed will change as you split the card more times, since as mentioned earlier, you cannot get the same combination of background and effect twice. This means with enough splits, you will eventually have every possible background and effect combo for your card.